What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So, you know, we can't go a single day with the Dallas Cowboys without having any drama. This is insane how things are with the Cowboys. We can't even just say you're going to be not active this week without having major drama. And the question you now have to ask is, has Zeke Elliott played his last down for the Dallas Cowboys? Um, it seems to be whenever you're uh, looking at uh, the talking heads from Clarence Hill and David Moore and all of those guys that this situation is, you know, kind of, we don't know what's next. Here's what we assume happened is that the Cowboys basically said, you're not going to be active for the game tomorrow. We're going to have Rico Daddle, and we're going to try out Dalvin Cook, and we're going to go from there. And Zeke, who has 149 yards in rushing, something that he used to have you know, in, in games, not the season. We're talking about games. Having had a limited role, having been brought back to be a team leader and a short yardage specialist, not getting opportunities, and I don't blame the Cowboys, completely for not giving opportunities because when your defense is not stopping anybody and your offensive line is not good at opening up holes, you're going to rely on your $60 million quarterback and your $34 million a year wide receiver to try and bail you out. You're not running the ball that much. And the reality of it is, is Zeke is 3.4 yards a carry. It's not like it used to be. It's not like Zeke is a young back that is tearing up the NV, you know, tearing up the NFL, playing at an elite level. And the Cowboys have to try and shake something up to try and get a different result. Now, I don't know that Dalvin Cook getting a second start. Maybe last week he was rusty, and maybe him getting more carries, he might be more effective. Uh, against Atlanta, Atlanta's defense isn't great at stopping run. Compared to us, they're great. Compared to us, they're great. But uh, against other teams, no, they, they they leave a little bit to be desired. So you might look at this and say, well, maybe Der uh, uh, Dalvin Cook shines tomorrow. I don't know. But Zeke has definitely aired his frustration. Now, they say a lit, you know that they came to an agreement that he's not going on this game, um, going to this game in Atlanta. So now the question is, is, now that the cat's out of the bag and we're not going to be playing you that much, does this lead to them actually letting Zeke go? I don't know. But maybe this is a case of the Cowboys should have been thinking not bringing back Zeke Elliott. You know, when you've been in a relationship and you break up, it's hard to get back together because usually a lot's been lost in that relationship. Because in the back of your mind, you, you don't have trust, you know, for that other person or that team or that player like you did it before. It doesn't seem like you're committed like before. And if the Cowboys could cut him once, they could cut him a second time. We're going to keep on watching and uh, monitoring this, uh, I don't even know what to call it, pooch screw that the Cowboys have messed up again. To think, if you'd taken Zeke Elliott's money and Trey Lance's money, you could have afforded Derrick Henry. But hey, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll. And I am sick to my stomach by what's going on with the Cowboys. We're getting to the point where we almost can't field the team. And now I got Commander fans. Commander fans becoming channel members just to be able to talk shit. Damn. All right, you good people. That's the latest that we have. Zeke Elliott, maybe he's played his last play as a Dallas Cowboy. I'll see you soon. Peace.